Watch this and more only on Yippee.tv. Let's see here. Now, which looks more dashing? My right side or my left side? You might want to think about a total makeover, just to be safe. Uh, Cleo, uh, I'd appreciate it if you would learn not to sneak up on people. Especially me. So, what's the ASAP, Professor? I came as soon as I got your message. I have a special assignment for you. Cool! So what is it? Translating ancient spells from the Book of the Dead? Figuring out the riddle of the Sphinx? Oh, something even more special. I want every artifact and display in the Ancient Egypt exhibit to be thoroughly dusted and polished. What happened to the cleaning crew? Those ingrates. They just quit without any notice. How dare they ask for minimum wage? Now, tomorrow's a very important day. I want to look really good. I mean, the museum needs to look good. Professor, I have plans. Well, cancel them. I expect you to make this place shine. Despite past debacles, Rosalie Rivera has offered to do a TV special on our collection. And on me, of course. If you need me, I'll be supervising Jacobs in the dinosaur room. Some of those old bones haven't been buffed since the Jurassic period. <sighs> you should know. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The Pharaoh is pleased. I like a tidy palace. <laughs> yeah, you're the poster boy for neatness. <gasps> Well, King Tettenstein, maybe you can roll up your bandages and help so I can meet my friend Natasha later. Me? Work? Blasphemy! It wouldn't kill you. You're already dead. I am Pharaoh. I do not clean up. Fine. Thanks a lot for your help. Cleo is not happy, Luxor, but I have an idea on how I can help her. Of course you do, but is this an idea I might perchance live through? A minor detail, sire. Pay it no mind. Lead the way. Ever think of using a weed whacker? <laughs> Rosalie! I wasn't expecting you until the 24th, and today is the... 24th. Don't bother to get up. I know my way around. <laughs> Rosa! Cleo! I think you missed a spot over there. Uh, that's it, Tut. I don't need a 3,000-year-old brat who won't help telling me how to clean. You try dirtying your bandages. I cannot. I have much to do. Important work to attend to. Okay, Professor, we'll start in the ancient Egypt room next to that, uh, that old mummy of yours. My mummy is your mummy, Rosa. <gasps> Tut, in here, quick. What are you doing? I've had servants tossed in crocodile pits for less than this. <sighs> Cleo, how are things going? Oh, Professor Badetti, I uh, just started to clean everything, starting with one 3,000-year-old mummy. <sighs> Check. Okay, Floyd, set up the camera over here. Hold it! You're, you're messing up my floors. But, Daddy, why don't you have a cleaning crew? And why are you making this girl do all the dirty work? Yeah, I'm like one of those ancient Egyptian workers. But at least those guys built a pyramid. All I do is dust and polish. Mm-hmm. And how much are you paid? Paid? What's that mean? <gasps> Unpaid child labor. Oh, indentured servitude. Now that is a story. Uh, what? Cleo loves it here. I can't get the girl out of the place. She practically begs me to let her work around here. So, how's this spot, Rosa? Do I look good in this light? <laughs> yeah, you look great. Would you relax? I'm interviewing Cleo. What? What? No, sorry. No can do. Busy. Okay, Professor, you're back in. Follow me. I've got the perfect place to do this, in front of the Amish footwear collection. Oh, the Pharaoh does not appreciate being treated in such a lowly manner. Now you know how it feels. Did you see a dustpan in here? No, but I did find a neat new scepter. Shoptis, waiting to serve their pharaoh. <laughs> <laughs>
Once brought to life, they will finish any task to perfection, and I will command them to help Cleo. Indeed, once brought to life. Yeah. Once brought to life? Uh, could we discuss this? Soon Cleo will know that I am the one who does what's best for Cleo. Then she'll be happy again. Behold, spell number six from the Book of the Dead for awakening a Shapti to work for the Pharaoh. Oh, Shakti, allotted to me, if I be summoned or I be detailed to do any work which has to be done, you shall detail yourself for me on every occasion. Here am I, you shall say. Oh, it didn't work. Sire, I think it's your septic, a scepter. What? Oh. Here am I, you shall say. We are here to serve you. What is it you wish? Clean my quarters. Turn them into a place fit for a pharaoh. Yes, your highness. It shall be done. Attention, Shaptis! Shaptis, ho! Shaptis, ho! <laughs> What's with the tiny tuts? They're Shaptis. They're here to help. My Shaptis are your Shaptis. Welcome to What's Your Problem with Dr. Larry. Hello, caller. What's your problem? Uh, my dog, he keeps looking at me. He's <laughs> judging me. <laughs> what kind of loser calls a radio shrink? <laughs> Holy Isis! These Shaptis are amazingly hard-working and loyal, as all my subjects should be. <sighs> uh, absolutely, sire. Ah! Transgressor! He soils the pharaoh's pristine floor! Attack! Attack! I mean, help! If any who stand in the way of our royal task is the enemy, enter our path and you shall be crushed! <laughs> I think your shop teas take their job a little too seriously, sire. That is a good thing. No, that's a bad thing. I mean, sure, they're good workers, but with all these many use running around, someone's gonna see them and follow them back to you. They're simply doing their job. And yours, might I add. Soon you'll be free to meet your friend. Okay, Cleo, time for our interview. And this time, I won't take no for an answer. No! <laughs> Shaptis, we must go! Uh, now! Uh, shoo, come on, go, go! Stop! I just waxed. Come on, Cleo. I had to listen to this blowhard for 20 minutes. It's your turn. Incredible. It's as if you've had a whole cleaning crew in here. <laughs> Good one, Professor. <laughs> ah, you missed a spot over here. And over here. What kind of an ancient Egyptian room is this? I mean, there's no atmosphere here. There's no... Floyd! Huh? Dirty it up, would you? Oh. Give me the sands of the desert. Uh, Rosa, I think I forgot to show you all of my diplomas. My many awards, my collection of Belgian tuning forks. And did you see my parking space? It's twice as big as everyone else's. And of course, there's my star attraction, my no! discovery to Duncan Satamoon. Uh, not now, Professor. It's my interview, remember? Cleo Carter, modern-day tweenager, Egyptology buff, and future archaeologist. Let's start at the very beginning, shall we? 
When did you first become fascinated with ancient Egypt? Um, my dad was an archaeologist, and I guess that's where my interest in Egyptology came from. <sighs> Even though he's passed away, reading about the ancient gods and the legends helps me to keep in touch with him. So, is it true the professor forces you to work long hours with virtually no pay and no breaks? Ridiculous! I gotta go to the little girl's room. Later! That's it, Floyd. Wrap it up. Wait! Wait! You must get a shot of me and my pharaoh, the king of the museum, with the king of Egypt. Oh, you seen one mummy, hun. You seen them all. Not one like Tutankhamun. Setamu. He's legendary. He's astounding. He's gone! The pharaoh is gone! Tut. Code red! Code red! A missing mummy. Okay, that's a story. I smell an Emmy. Check that. I smell a Pulitzer! <laughs> Looks just like it. Jacobs, code red. Get a hold of yourself, Jacobs. Tutankhamun said a moon is missing. The mummy got up and walked away. No, you ninny. Someone must have taken it. We have to find it, or I'll be ruined. Now go. <laughs> You've got to reel in your bitty buddies. Yes, I am beginning to see that they're out of control. But they're just so tidy. Stop them! Very well. Transgressor! Do you have any idea where Tutankin Seta Moon is? Sure, he just went to. No, I mean, no. He's in his sarcophagus, decaying, rotting as usual. What's that in your bag? Uh, my lunch? <coughs> Don't you dare try to poke me, you odious little wood chip! Ah, you and that cat. Well, if you see anything strange, Cleo, you come see me right away. Sure, no problem. <sighs> Hurry up and get rid of them, Tet! I don't know how much longer I can keep everyone off our backs! Walking mummies. The enemy! He who soils our kingdom shall be turned into dust! Attack! Destroy! Attack! Uh oh. Septies are gonna hit the fan! <laughs> Dr. Larry, my name's uh, 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 Ho Horace Pudetti, first time caller. So, tell the good doctor, what's your problem? I think I'm seeing little people, man. Ah, yes, a very common issue with those with low self-esteem. Those little people are not really there. Close your eyes and tell yourself, I like me. I like me. Good. I'm a nice person. I'm a nice person. I don't see little people anymore. I don't see little people anymore. Ah! They're crawling all over me, man! Hello? Hello, caller, are you there? Yeah, Doc! Don't worry, bro. I know exactly what to do, man. 
We have triumph over evil! Yay! Okay, Tenstein, here's your chance to help. Tell those pocket apocalypses to back off. Uh, yes, the Pharaoh will take care of everything. Shaptis, I command you to stop! Pharaoh, we cannot go against our sacred vow to serve you. The pledge to help can never be broken by anyone, even you. Back to work, men! Onward! I cannot believe it! The Shaptis did not listen to me! Remind you of anyone you know? No, I can't say they do. Mummy. Gee, I don't know. Maybe it just got up and walked away. <laughs> oh, now that would be a story. Uh, I, I think we're being followed. <sighs> Maybe it's the mummy. Ah, Get him off of it's me, ah! Ah! Oh, What is going on here? I don't know, honey, but this is bigger than a story, better than a primetime news special. This is a miniseries! Come on, guys! We've got to catch Minnie Mom before anyone else does! Let's bag those bad boys. Yes! Get them, Luxor. Me? Why always me? Get him! My fault, your stubbornness. I should have bandaged your mouth shut instead of letting you cast that shabty spell. Perhaps, but you're not to blame, Luxor. I am. Ah! Ah! Get off my back! Ah! If only I had helped Cleo myself instead of having others do the work. Of course! Why didn't I see this before? Transgressors have had a change of heart. We clean in harmony. Yay! Your plan's working, Tet. We make this place spotless, and the Shaptis will go away. All we have to do is work fast. <laughs> Aha! What is going on in there? Mystery, mayhem, and a missing mummy. I hope! <laughs> Forget the miniseries. This is a major motion picture. Oh, with sequels and a DVD. Outtakes, my backstory, some 8 by 10s <laughs> Almost done. Cleo Carter, is that you? <gasps> <laughs> What have you been doing in here? Uh, cleaning? Oh, really? Then you must know something about the whereabouts of our mummy who, as you can see, is... Here? What's it doing here? Where else would it be? <laughs> I don't understand how... But, Daddy, once again, there's no story here. Oh, so had it with you. Floyd, come on! <gasps> Wait, Rosa! I can explain everything! Uh, I think. Okay. I'm out of here. I'm going to meet my friend. See ya! Hello, Natasha? Sorry, Clee. I can't go. I've got to babysit my brother. I can relate. Later. Cleo, let me help you. I have a spell that can send the Shaptis back to their home. Okay, maybe not. Now, whoever.
never said you can't teach a 3,000-year-old mummy new tricks. Hello? Dr. Larry? Oh, Horace, it's you again. You're not still seeing little people, are you? Uh, nah, man. I mean, I thought it was, but now I think it was a dream. Aha! Uh -huh. You see what happens when you face your fears? I've done it again. Dr. Larry is never wrong. Huh? Caller, are you still there? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Horace, what's your problem? <laughs>